video for you here. We're gonna do a brake job on the Mustang but this won't be any just any brake job. So we'll show you what we're talking about. So my question is do you want these stock GT brakes or do you want these bad boys that's right today we're gonna to show you how to put Cobra brakes on your factory GT with all brand new parts and stainless steel braided brake lines so ooh, ah. all right let's go look at the parts all right so we are gonna show you how to do this with all brand new parts um, I've seen these parts listed used People are doing them takeoffs of salvage Cobras and you get used rotors, used pads. Yeah, you might get a caliper that says Cobra on it, but we did this with all brand new parts for the same amount of money these guys are charging for used parts. So first off, here's your comparison of your rotors. This is the factory GT rotor. You can see roughly 11 inch. Okay. And we are going to be able to take it all the way to a 13 inch brake. Drilled slotted rotors. These are Power Stop brand. They come in a kit, so you can see there. And we'll list all these parts out. Brand new, good stuff. So there's your rotors. Just a good comparison here. Look at that, guys. Look at that. No comparison. The other thing we got, we got the Power Stop Extreme Z26 pad. Went ahead and got new caliper mounting bolts just for fun. There's a, actually a kit you can buy with for these calipers. It is, a, once again, Power Stop brand and it's a S4766C. Um, this will come with both calipers. Left and right. And all these parts we ordered are a 2001. Cobra or four valve, whatever you want to say on the Rock Auto site. This is how they come. You want to get your bra mounting bracket. You're going to get your caliper. You get the retaining pin, your hose attaching bolt, or your hose bolt, and everything you need there. And the other thing we did, we went with, because your hoses have to be changed as well, we went with Russell brand. These are stainless braided lines. They do have a, a coating on the outside. Also for, a, once again, Cobra. There you go. We'll put links to all the parts, so let's go do one. What do you think?
you're the puny one. Right, take a 17 for your back up here. And an 11. If you got line wrenches, it'd be great. I don't have metrics with me today. Let's pry out the little keeper. That's the little keeper that holds this. Hoses are labeled front right, front left. Nice of them. There's one with a different keeper. Just got a couple of E-clips. see there's a notch here. Line up with your notch. New one's an 18. In our case. This up here so it doesn't drain anymore. When these come, they don't they aren't painted. So you saw we were painting those. We painted the outsides and the centers just so they don't rust. But they are labeled, so you want to make sure the grooves are going in the right direction. So and then the thing to call out the backing plate. We looked up um, these backing plates are the same for the Cobra and the GT. Um, looked them up on OEM Ford websites. The same part number for both pieces, so not doing anything there. So, there we go. I'm just kind of taking these burrs off here from the paint until they set a little better. And the bolts, bolt heads, and they sit flat on the surface. So, Got the Dorman 13898 bolts. Loctite. You can see here in this little groove, we'll push that in. Okay, there you go in, put your washer on. You clip. Alright, thanks for watching as always. We're out here on a test drive in the Mustang. Uh, really good responsive feel to these new brakes. Highly recommend these. Great investment for anybody running a factory GT. Uh, recommend going with the Rock Auto parts just like we did. Great feel with the stainless steel brake lines. Really, really improves the braking power of the car. So, highly recommend. Great investment. Thanks for watching as always. We're out save some money, do some of these projects yourself. Thanks.